Hello, I just thought I'd do a quick video because the Chili Peppers dropped their latest track, Poster Child. Um, the second track off their new album, Love Unlimited. Um, and this one, yeah, very different to the first um, track we heard, Black Summer, which, although musically I, I quite like still, I think I said in my last video, I wasn't keen on the vocal. It's grown on me a little bit, but st yeah, still a bit piratey for me, but but whatever, you know, that's music. You like some stuff, you don't like other things. This track, um, musically straight away I was into it. It reminded me a lot of a track called Walkabout on One Hot Minute. Well worth checking that track out if you haven't already. Yeah, it took me back to some of the old school chill funk tracks that the Chili sometimes make, like if you had to ask, um, like the verses in Psycho Sexy, but yeah, it really gave me Walkabout vibes, which I know was written with Dave Navarro in the band. I know a lot of people don't like that one hot minute album, but I, I really like it. I think there's some awesome tracks on that album. So a few thoughts on this track for me. Again, I love the vibe of it, the chill funk, Chad's drumming. If you listen to it, it sounds really understated, but that just I think it shows how good Chad is as a drummer, because for funk to sound good, the drums need to be on it, Like he, and he's just holding that groove. And listen to the hi-hat in this track. He's doing some cool stuff on the hi-hat all the way through. But yeah, Chad's just solid, and Flea and John have just got a cool like funk groove going on. Um, like the bridge, uh, which turns into the outro, love that little bit. And the outro is awesome, like the little the soloing um, that John does. It's cool. It's it's just it's just subtle and it does what's right for the track. It just feels like he's grooving on it. He's not trying to show off. It just he's got some cool. I think it's probably chorus on on some distortion to get that effect. It sounds awesome. Also in the track, I like the little um little little woodly like bits that if you listen in stereo it's going from ear to ear and that sounds pretty cool and the bass line yeah just holding it down um, nothing crazy flashy but Flea knows what he's doing for tracks like that um, yeah really really enjoyed musically so yeah just a quick word on the vocals like I'm the best person to critique someone's vocals uh, I prefer this vocal to Black Summer but yeah, I'm not a massive lyric person. Um, I don't have a clue what he's saying in the track, to be honest. I've not read the lyrics and the, just, there's so many words. I don't know how he's gonna remember that live. We need a limit, he needs someone to help him, we need a script. That's off interesting, but it just feels like it gets a bit samey towards the end. But yeah, it's, I, I prefer that track. Um, musically, it's cool. I love the outro with the little solo bits. I'm looking forward to see what the rest of the album brings. There's two kind of two different vibes off this track, so it sounds like it's going to be quite eclectic. So yeah, let's see what happens with the, with the rest of the album. Looking forward to it. So that, again, that's my thoughts. Not that that means anything, um, <laughs> but yeah, just wanted to share because again, there's a lot of hype over this this new album, and um, yeah, nice to hear that funk coming back. Cool. All right, cheers, guys. Take it easy.